Alrighty, what is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another CyperX video banger. Man, oh man, this video breakdown is going to be one for the record books for you all to be really, truly tapped in and be paying attention. I cannot stress enough. Now is not the time to be playing around with your emotions, given the environment that we are currently in, in this bullish market cycle. With that being said, do us a favor. If you enjoy these video breakdowns, smash that thumbs up button and subscribe. I'm not going to edit this video breakdown. I'm just going to be spitting off the dome. So if I slip up on some of my, some of my words, <clears throat> I'm not going to edit this. I'm just going to go full, naked, raw. I have so much information on my brain that I need to get out to you guys. We're going to just take a look inside the private site breaks community. And I'm going to be explaining to you guys why it's so crucially important that you all stop paying attention to the noise on Twitter. And you start digging deep with inside your own personal capabilities to expand your potential, given the environment and the opportunities at hand. So if you are a highly intellectual individual and you've been one of my followers for some time, or if you're new here, stick around for the entirety of this video breakdown. I have some notes written down here on my whiteboard that I'm going to read to you guys to really, truly get you to see what is taking place. Okay. So just real fast off the top of my head. All right. In the CyperX community today, just looking at the general chat, we're seeing multiple participants inside the private CyperX Discord catching trades, long positions in particular, on XRP. You could see Mello caught a trade on XRP, Michael caught a trade on XRP, Ruby this morning scrolling up here, I know for a fact caught a trade on XRP, another long position, right? I myself last night, called a trade, a long position on XRP. Why is all this happening and why am I even presenting this information to you all? Just scrolling back, looking at the XRP analysis chat in our private section. If we go back to March 2nd, 2024, we had mentioned to the private community members that we were looking for a price target of XRP to come into 75 cents. We are at that price level now on March 11th. So days later, again, giving all this information ahead of the curve to our private members. Again, I'm not sitting here bragging. I'm attempting to show you guys physical proof that people are what they consume. You can see individuals in our private community winning, right? Granted, obviously, of course, not everybody is a leveraged intraday trader. Some people are just dollar cost averagers, but still, given these price projections ahead of the curve, I want to take your attention to this chart right here, where I went back on some of the posts that I save on the X space where people FUD certain projects at specific price levels. I'm very particular with where I put out information to my private community, right? You can see all of this FUD back from December and January, 2023, heading into 2024, where price action was on XRP when all these individuals were FUDing it, telling you it's a horrible investment, this, this, and that. But now the price of XRP is higher, albeit it's not significantly higher, but it is for a fact higher then where these individuals were putting out this information to the general public. And these individuals, look at the views. This one got 79,000 views. This one, 834,000 views. 78,000 views. That's over a million views right there. 64,000 views with this gentleman at the very bottom of XRP price action saying, call me crazy, but I think XRP has the potential to only hit 61 cents this cycle. Come on now, people. Wake up up. That's all I'm going to say. If you're here, if you're listening and you're going to stick around for the entirety of this video breakdown, you're you're committed. You're committed to hearing what I have to say. Seriously, give yourself a round of applause because you are a percentage of a very small group of individuals that are intellectually inclined enough to actually learn and to accumulate information from an individual with more experience than yourself that's trying to show you that this is possible. The opportunities that are available to us as manual retail investors right now, we have never seen in our lifetime. I've tried to explain to you guys, right? So looking at where we put this information out on Saturday, March 2nd, showing you guys the timestamp, showing you all where price action was at, XRP has now rallied plus 32%. It's not a lot of money, right? It is not a lot of money. I get that. It's not thousands of percentages like these meme coins are returning. But do you understand that no traditional investment in less than 10 days, this is nine days from March 2nd till today, excuse me, from March 2nd, I choked on my spit. Again, I'm not editing any of this out. From March 2nd to the 11th, XRP did 32% from where we put this information out. Show me a traditional investment, a Roth, a Roth IRA, 
a 401k, a mutual fund, an index fund, any type of traditional investment, a high yield savings account, whatever the case may be, where you can make 32% on your initial investment in less than 10 days. You cannot. That Therefore, you understand that this is the opportunity of a lifetime. Any, any large investor, <laughs> excuse me, any person with a decent amount of capital understands that $100,000 invested into XRP on Saturday, March 2nd would now be worth over $30,000 increase. $100,000 plus 32% is $132,000. So you mean to tell me that we live in an environment right now where you can make a minimum yearly wage salary in less than nine days. Do you understand that potential? I hope that you do. Again, you're going to have those haters in the comments. Oh, it's, uh, PayPay did a thousand percent. AGIX did a thousand percent. I'm not talking about that. I'm specifically dialed in and focused on the people that talk crap about XRP because that's where the FUD seems to be so stemmed around, right? <clears throat> With that being said, there's going to be three types of people in the future in this digital asset space moving forward. Obviously, of course, the people that don't get involved, the normals, the normal people, right? Just like how in the stock market, there's people that don't trade stocks. There's people that don't invest in stocks. There's people that don't have an investment portfolio at all whatsoever. There's going to be people like that in the future moving forward. People that just don't want to be involved in crypto whatsoever. They don't care. They don't find interest in it, right? They they think it's a scam. They're going to think it's a scam for forever, just like they think stock market trading and investing is a scam to this day, right? Then there's going to be the types of individuals that come into trading that come into investing in crypto, but focus on negative influences like this, what I'm showing you guys on the screen. Okay, I'm going to stop sharing my screen so you can fully see me. All right. So those people, so remember, we got the people that are sitting on the sidelines, don't care about this market. Then we got the people that are coming into this space, but then focus on this negative energy. They focus their attention on reading everything that they possibly can, but not understanding that you are what you consume. So if you're constantly consuming negative information, devalued information, uneducational content, you are going to make those types of decisions in the market. Do you understand that? I hope that you do. And I hope that you understand the severity of what's taking place. There is a massive wave of distractions flooding in because of social media right now in this digital asset space. Okay. Millionaires, billionaires, and trillionaires will be made this next cycle, just like in the previous cycles. And you have to understand that you have the potential to be one of those market participants. It's not guaranteed, but it is so much more than downloading an application on your freaking cell phone and hitting buy and thinking that in the next couple of months, you're going to become successful. There is so much more to this. There's levels to this game and you really need to take advantage of the opportunity. So that leads me to the individuals, the third set of people that are going to take this serious, that are going to buckle down, that are going to take the necessity, the necessary steps, the necessity steps, am I making sense? The necessary steps, there we go, to actually become successful, to block out this FUD, to tap into communities like ours or others like the individual, James, whom I was on his call yesterday, his live, phenomenal community, always pumping out education, always pumping out valued content, always putting out accurate, logical price analysis, not opium and bullshit, right? There's going to be three types of people. Remember, the individuals that sit on the sidelines, the individuals that come in and pay attention to the FUD and don't do anything to actually progress in their trading and investing career. And then the third type of person who actually comes in, takes this serious, understands that it's much more than downloading an application, buying a crypto asset and becoming successful overnight, doing the hard work, putting in the time to educate themselves and to really prosper. There is massive opportunities right now for life change of wealth. I'm not sitting here telling you guys to go out there and invest in crypto. And crypto is not the only avenue of approach to investing. But the people that are interested, and if you're still here, again, smash that thumbs up button and subscribe. We're going to continue to go down the rabbit hole. You have to tap in. Now is the time. Now is the freaking time. So I covered you are what you consume. You really need to truly understand that concept. I get that it's reiterated a lot on social media, but your feed, your social media feed says a lot about you. If you take my cell phone, and you go through all the social media accounts that I have on my phone, my YouTube, 
my Instagram, my Twitter, you will find nothing but educational content on my feed. Why? Because I have blocked influencers that do anything but put out educational content. Every time I come across a distracting feed, there's an there's a option on your social media platforms that you can click that says not interested in this post or block account. And it will change your algorithm. It will change what information is being fed to you. Now is the time to start to take those necessary steps so that way you don't get distracted and misled by the bullshit on the internet, people, please. Wow. You got to wake up because it hurts me because of who I am as an individual to see people suck, to see people lose, to see people down in the dumps when we have individuals in our community that are making thousands of percentages because they're tapped in. I want everybody who wants to take that opportunity to make the same amount of money that I am or that Ruby is, or that Michael is in our private community. And you can, that's what I'm trying to freaking show people. You can, you just need to wake up, block out this stuff, right? Block out this negative energy. We are in an era of education, an era of awakening, a grand rising, right? We have supercomputers at the tips of our fingers to educate ourselves. If you don't understand something, use artificial intelligence to help you digest the information and give you an understanding of what you don't understand to elevate your superiority, not only in this market, but as an elevated individual that is sound, has logical principles, and can actually execute in this market. I'm, wow. I cannot stress enough. People are freaking sleeping on their potential, okay? Okay. So <clears throat> let me show you what I'm talking about. Um, I want to say another thing. One of my most favorite individual authors, his name is Napoleon Hill. If you have never heard of him, go read his books. I cannot stress enough. Books like Outwitting the Devil. Books like How to Own Your Mind. These are all, in my personal opinion, Absolutely essential books for you to read to really further progress your mentality, your psychology, and what it is that you need to accomplish to become truly successful as an independent person and as a trader slash investor, okay? One thing that he said that has always stuck with me ever since I became successful in this space, i.e. I invested back in 2017, obviously, of course, experienced some significant gains on my portfolio, which got me to where I'm at today, which continuously furthered my career and my interest in this space. But one of the things that he said to me <clears throat> was, in times of crisis, comes with it the seed of an equal opportunity, the equivalent of an equal opportunity in a nutshell. Right? And you understand that. So anytime that there is a crisis, you have to see it as an opportunity to prevail from that crisis or to elevate from that crisis or to take advantage of that crisis and see what seeds can be planted that will sprout and grow out of that crisis. Think about what has taken place and think about what we cover on the CyberX platform, talking about this digital transformation, talking about how they're literally digitizing everything, the backend infrastructure, the whole entire global system, Right? That is happening. If you're trying and attempting to live this illusion like it's not, you have to wake up. We're not making that up. It is happening. They're not going to tell you on your favorite mainstream media social channels. You have to go and do the research yourself. Now is the opportune moment to take advantage of this new way of investing, of making 32% in less than freaking 10 days. Okay? Okay. Anybody that understands the power of what's happening will take advantage. Again, you're going to have those people in the comments. Oh, but XRP still trash. Pepe did a thousand dollars. Then go invest in Pepe. That's an opportunity. Again, if, and if you're taking those opportunities, then kudos to you, right? Pepe does not fit my, my personal portfolio requirements, right? I have other assets that I'm diversified in, but Pepe is not one of them. So I just personally don't touch meme coins. It doesn't fit into my my realm of rules for what I like to invest in. But if that's an opportunity for you that you see, go take it. It's there for you. It's available, right? I want to show you guys something. And this, it, you know, this is the last rant that I'll go on real quick. <clears throat> I said in this post, and I really want you guys to take this to heart. Please, the people that are listening, I'm, I hope that you guys can feel through these videos. I wish that I could put my hand on some people. My, my hand on their shoulder and just say, listen, 
listen to what I have to say, please. So you save yourself. Save your freaking self from the bullshit right now that's going on, please. Right? Now is the time to tap in. It is not the time for emotions. It is not the time for indecisiveness. It is not the time for uneducational, unbiased approaches. Okay? <clears throat> now is the time for networking with the right community. I cannot stress enough, there are phenomenal communities popping up all across the board. I got into it with two recent communities that are absolutely phenomenal. They invited me to come onto their spaces multiple times. They've asked me to join their private little tiny groups to give them insights and in what it is that I'm looking for in the markets. And I cannot stress enough that now is the time to grow those networks, to build those communities, because the people that you have to understand, there's only 430 million people active in this digital asset space, right? So we're a very small percentage of the population and the networks and the connections that we build now will become the businesses and the applications and the, you get what I'm saying? The things in the future that will drive this market momentum forward to bring more people into this space, okay? That's why networking right now is so, so intrinsically important to build relationships, to come into these groups like CyperX and have a friend that you talk to that are other successful traders. You go and you talk to Ruby, guarantee you'll have a great conversation with you. Learn from him. Educate yourself from some of the mistakes that he's made so that way you don't make the same ones. Same thing with anybody else that's in the private CyperX community. It's a global network. We have people from all over the world right now that you can communicate with. Just ask a question and it will be answered. And if you're not doing that, Again, you're sleeping on your own potential, scaling your education and understanding of this market. If you think for one freaking second that downloading Coinbase, downloading Uphold and buying XRP is going to be the thing that makes you successful in the next couple of years, you are dead wrong. You will lose. The market will chew you up and it will spit you out. You need so much more. You need psychological preparation. You need fundamental understanding. You need portfolio management understanding, risk assessment management understanding. You need to understand how to move the, your digital assets to and from multiple exchanges and bank accounts. And all of that comes with the price, which is time commitment and education accumulation, right? It is not just downloading an application, buying up these assets, storing them on a centralized exchange and thinking that you're going to become a multimillionaire. Dead wrong mindset. Again, reverting back to the beginning of the call, three types of people. People that are going to sit on the sidelines, people that are going to come in and not take this serious, and then the people that are going to come in and take this serious. Be the third person, okay? <clears throat> Properly dollar cost averaging into good projects. Diversification is key at this very moment in time. We are about to enter into an era of regulation and utility. Obviously, of course, regulation is going to come first, then most likely led by another speculative bull run, and then comes utility. During that time period, we have to understand that there are going to be projects that perform better than others. So diversification is key. Do research on projects that suit your portfolio needs and your personal interest and diversify. I cannot stress enough. XRP is not my biggest bag. It is a big bag of mine, but it is not my biggest bag. Okay. I have other interests outside of what I project on the internet that I share with my private community that I'm interested in. For example, I went heavy, heavy back in June last year, 2023, into artificial intelligence projects specifically because I found something from the International Monetary Fund that said that artificial intelligence is going to be the next big thing. That sparked my interest, started getting into AI crypto. Now, both my AGIX and FET callouts that I made in the private community back in June are up over a thousand percent on both assets. So diversification is key. And I'm not mad about it. I'm not mad that XRP is only up 30 percent. And looking at AGIX, wishing I would have stuck more money into it at the time, right? I'm not mad about that. I understand that there's still opportunities in both assets to make percentages that you cannot make in a traditional portfolio, okay? So you got to understand that. Properly dollar cost averaging into good projects. Assessing your risk properly. Personally, obviously, of course, I have more liquid capital to invest into this space. You may not. You need to understand what your exposure is and what your risk tolerance is. Not financial advice. I personally do not stick any money into this market that I'm not willing to lose, right? So if I have 
$250,000 in this market, if I have $50,000 in this market, if I have $300,000 in this market, I am under the assumption that at any point in time, I could wake up tomorrow and it could be worth $0. And I'm okay with that because I'm diversified outside of crypto, right? I have other assets and other things that I'm doing with my money outside of crypto in case crypto does so happen to go to zero. It is not that I'm saying that it's going to go to zero. It is in case. I'm assessing my risk properly so that way you can detach yourselves from the emotional aspect of trading. If you have no emotional attachment to the money that you're investing in this space with, you will stop making irrational decisions. Like when all these fudsters start, start talking crap about XRP and you're heavily invested in the XRP, if you've already determined that if XRP goes to zero, you're willing to, to lose that money, then who cares what XRP price is doing? You get what I'm saying? You got to detach yourself. You got to be emotionless. So that comes in, ties into building a strong psychology. Okay. I've recommended multiple books to the private CyberX community. I don't have time to get up and go grab them, grab them right now. There are some really great books that will help you build a strong psychological foundation. And if books don't do it, then come join a community like ours where we focus on building sound psychological principles before we even teach technical analysis, before we even teach fundamental analysis, before we even get into how we execute trades, we focus on psychology. Because if your psychology is, is all jacked up, if your risk management is all jacked up, if you don't even believe in your freaking own personal ability to succeed in this market is jacked up, you're not going to make it. And people have it all backwards. They think some sound technical analysis strategy. They think some Fibonacci sequence. They, they think some major entry into this space is going to be the thing. It's not. It's can you survive against hungry ass wolves like me, like Ruby, like every other market participant? Can you survive going up against us, the greatest minds in the game, the greatest algorithms in the game? If you do not have a strong psychology, you will not survive. No matter how good your technology is, no matter how great your technical analysis is, you won't, period. So build a strong psychology in the now, during the time that we're living through now. Work on these things. And last but not least, I wrote down learning macro fundamentals. Understand these day-to-day, -day, weekly, monthly, and yearly shifts, not only in risk-on, risk-off sentiment, but also in capital inflows and outflows of certain assets when capital is being allocated and inflowed into the dollar, when it's being sucked out, when it's being allocated to risk assets, when it's being allocated to gold, when central banks are buying, when they're not, right? <clears throat> you need to understand these things. Again, if you need a place where you can learn how to understand these things, we provide a community for you all to do that in, okay? Many blessings to you guys. I hope that this video breakdown, I hope that you can hear the aggressiveness in my voice, how serious and stern it is to really truly wake yourself up. If you've been watching us for some time and you're sitting on the edge of your seat, like, ah, I think I'm thinking I'm going to pull the trigger, but I don't want to stop second guessing yourself. Okay. You will feel a lot worse moving forward if you miss out on an opportunity than you will if you fail. Right. Do you understand the, pr the principle that I just said? If you take the leap, come into this community and you fail in the community, right? You'll feel a lot worse not coming into this community and missing out on an opportunity. And that goes for investing as well. Another way that I look at these investments in crypto is I would feel so much worse, so much worse if I sat the capital that I have in crypto right now on the sidelines, didn't invest and watch the opportunity slowly fade away, meaning that crypto starts to increase in value and lowers my chance of life-changing wealth. I would feel so much worse missing out on the opportunity of life-changing wealth than I would losing all the money that I have in crypto, okay? Because I've accepted failure. I've accepted that that's part of the game. I've accepted that that's part of the process. And you yourself sitting on the edge of your seat or still listening to this call, you need to do the same thing. Now, I'm not sitting here saying that our community is the only community to join. It is an option, right? And we are here for you if you want to come into our space, right? But if not, you should still take these necessary steps to become successful in this market. Believe in yourself. Now is the time to make a decision. Are you going to be a sideliner? Are you going to be a person that comes in with unrealistic expectations and doesn't make it? Or are you going to be a person that takes this serious and really levels up what you need to be doing to become successful? I don't care if you work a nine to five job or if you have kids or if you have all these other things going on. 
Take advantage of this digital transformation. Take advantage of this fourth industrial revolution that we are living through. If you go look back at history of every major industrial revolution, the first, the second, and the third, multi-millionaires, billionaires, trillionaires, and large business owners and networking groups were all orchestrated during those times. We are again experiencing another transition, and we are again in an era of change. I cannot stress enough, people. Please take advantage. Many blessings, you guys. Do us a favor. Smash that thumbs up button again. No edits. Raw material. Straight off the dome. Trying to give you guys the realest perspectives in the game. Always trying to lead you all to success. I noticed, I'll just say this last thing. <clears throat> One of the reasons why I built the CyperX community is because I was so tired of feeling alone. What do I mean by that? I made a lot of money back in 2017, 2018 time period, right? 2019 came around, COVID happened. I had money, paid off my debt, got to experience some life-changing wealth, got to experience a lavish life, right? Went on a couple vacations, bought a nice car at the time, experienced all that. Have, you know, obviously, of course, in a relationship with my significant other, but I realized that I was alone. I wanted to build a community of like-minded individuals to come to the top with me, to rise to a certain degree and level of understanding and accuracy, fundamental psychological and technical analysis of superiority, right? To elevate. You get what I'm saying? The top is lonely unless you bring others up with you. That is the goal of CyberX. We are here to rise above the average way of thinking the normal way of thinking. And if you're one of those individuals that's willing to tap in, I'd love to have you on board. With that being said, if you want to join our private community, again, I'm not saying that is the only option. It is an option. And if it is an option for you, visit CypressTrading.com to visit some of the resources that we provide. Many blessings to you guys. Do us a favor, smash that thumbs up button if you took something away from this video breakdown. Seriously, wholehearted, straight off the dome, giving it to you guys, raw. Many blessings to you guys. And I will see you all in the next video breakdown.